say no. Today, I'm interviewing the family Pete. What was it? What is it like being a pilot? Man, being a pilot? Oh my goodness, that is amazing. Um, flying is is my passion. It's my dream. It's where I, it, it's everything, you know. And um, it's amazing being a pilot. You know, when you first um, when you first get your, your your first strike, when you get your your private license, uh, that's a great accomplishment you can you know, to take the plane by yourself. When you go through the examinations, you pass all the examinations, your instrument license, and when you do your multi-engine, you do commercial rating, when you have your ATP on the Air Transport Pilot license, uh, theory examinations, you pass through those and, and go up and, and and as you get your licenses, you really begin to feel proud and, and you feel good about what you've achieved and accomplished. And you know, aviation is fantastic. Um, you know, I love flying. I love takeoff, I love landing, still some of the best parts of flying. And uh, just going from one destination to another and the time changes, or going to one destination to another and the temperature changes, that is a real uh, great, great feeling uh, to know that you've um, done that. And we see so much amazing things in the skies that um, most people on the ground don't get to see. And uh, as a pilot, um, that's one thing which I love. How do you become a pilot? Well, um, to become a pilot, you need to uh, do a lot of hard work, um, and it starts as the younger you can start, the better. The reason why is because the cost is so expensive, so you need to really start saving from now. Um, I would recommend that any any young person actually gets involved in a air, air cadet squadron. Um, that's to get familiar with a plane, and, and then as soon as they're able to join a flying club, they get into a flying club. They they just around the airport, they're around things and start to learn about what aviation is um, and then enroll in a full integrated course. That's probably the best route that you can take over module, modular. Modular is where you kind of do part of your training here, do your training here, do your training here, do your training here. Um, whereas if you're in, on an integrated program um, at a good institution then um, you'll be able to do all of your pilot training at one place. Uh, it costs a lot of money and um, say to any young person who wants to do it, start planning now. Don't wait until you're a teenager. If you're still under 10 years old, try to start saving now and start looking at the room in which you're going to uh, choose to actually become a pilot. There's, there's two ways you can, you can do it. Uh, in the UK, you can do it in the UK um, or you can do it in uh, the United States of America, um, which is another alternative. And um, oftentimes the weather is better in the USA and it's a little bit cheaper to fly there. So, um, there's options and, and, uh, and there's lots of information online now in, in terms of how you can actually do that. What three things should we be doing as children so we could become like you? What three things should I do, or should you do rather? <laughs> okay, um, what, what three things I, I would say is, um, look, the first thing is this, um, work hard. You know, um, there's only one place you're going to find success before, before uh, work and that is in the dictionary uh, because the S comes before the W in the dictionary but not in life. You have to work hard. So um, like you're doing your maths, you've got to work hard from the very beginning. Hard work. The next thing is um, to believe that you can achieve it. So belief really really plays a lot. So you've got the skills now because you've actually done the hard work. But then it's believing that you can actually achieve it. It's believing that you can make it that really helps you a lot and I'd say the last thing is to to persevere and um, that means to keep on going to never quit to always push to never quit just to always keep going no matter how hard it gets just to keep on going so those three components I think are essential to achieving goals and, uh, and becoming successful um, so just to summarize it again I'd say hard work number one um, you know, number two, believe that you can do it. And, and number three, have perseverance and, and just push for it and, and know that you can attain it. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Thank you, Zane. Great. You're Good to meet you. You're, you too.